Hi, everyone. Um, so I hope everyone is doing well. I am doing the cleanse this week. So um, what you're supposed to do is it comes in a box like this of four and you're supposed to take one in the morning for breakfast or before you eat and then one in the evening. Um, and what I do is that uh, I actually take one a day and spray it out over four days because it's a lot on my tummy. Um, it does do a great job in cleaning you out. And so I actually have a, an or a reoccurring order where I get a box a month and I take a cleanse every single month. And actually uh, it tastes, you know I mentioned it before, it tastes super, it's actually not a bad taste because I've had cleanses that have not been, did not taste very well. Um, and it's actually not a bad taste. It tastes like it tastes like apple juice with because it's apple vinegar but it tastes like apple juice with um like apple juice and lemonade together it's not uh super sour so that's what makes it kind of cool so i'm gonna drink this while i'm talking to you um let's chat so uh i have been a member of apple tv for quite some time, at least over six months, because I wanted to see the banker. And um, and I, I think I've already told you about the morning show in which I will say there is one episode, I think it's the last three episodes. I can't remember. I think it's one of the last three episodes where I loved the conversation that she had, that Aunt Jennifer Aniston character had with her daughter because it was trying to tell her daughter to um, get a grip. You need to see me as an adult, not as just your mom. And I think that that's an important thing that a lot of, um, there's there's a transformation component within all of us in which we begin to start seeing our, our parents as adults and no longer as like parents. And that's when you can begin to start getting the real healing and understanding the decisions that they made when we were children. And uh, they did, I, I always, um, give people the benefit of the doubt because I feel like, well, sometimes I feel like we need to come to grips with the fact that parents make decisions by doing the best that they know. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where, where I stand. Um, okay. So moving on, there is a show. And so right now I'm thinking, uh, I've been watching literally everything on Apple TV. And part of the reason why I've been watching everything on Apple TV is because there's not much on it. And I think that that's a, that's a unique conversation. And this is one of the reasons why I think Netflix is winning. Disney is winning, not just because of their new content that's being released, but I don't think that anybody realized how extensive their catalog is until they came up with this Disney Plus app. But like I said, Netflix can definitely win because you can go through so many time holes. HBO is not winning because the stuff is whack and they keep taking off stuff that people would be, I mean, I still can't wrap my head around why they took off. You're, you're, you're introduced. 
I still can't understand why they are rotating their DC stuff off of the network because you're coming up with new DC films. And so this means that no one could watch all of the DC films, you know, no, the most recent ones. Nobody can, can watch Aquaman on HBO Max because they took it off. Nobody can watch, you know, and so you have this idea that people cannot watch all of the canon before this new Justice League that's going to be four hours long. Why? Because the planning, the planning doesn't make any sense. No, no sense. Anywho, that's not here where I'm here for. Apple TV. I have discovered as I've gone down this wormhole of watching nothing but Apple TV is that <clears throat> there's a lot of amazing stuff on Apple TV. And I'm not saying this to be shade, but I'm saying this to say, boy, I have really missed out on Apple TV. A lot. I've missed out on a lot. And how much have I missed out on? Too much. And so right now I'm watching, uh, and I just finished it last night, which was, um, I'm not going to pronounce his name well, um, M. Shyamalan, uh, called uh, Servant. And uh, I have no idea what's happening. Like I, the gist of, the gist of what all of this means is that uh, this woman loses her, this woman's child died for some whatever reason, and um, and she can't cope with the death, and so therefore she um, has a doll. They give her a doll in order that's like this humanoid doll and she wants to hire a nanny and they're like okay you're taking this too far um the husband is a chef and he's like well we'll just let her have this nanny this woman comes in and eventually it's like it's a real baby so people are freaking out like why do we have this real kid and so we've been having this long issue of like, there's this new kid. What are we doing with this new kid? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm sitting here, I must say, as much as I like this show, I really do. And it's in season two and the new episode drops on Friday. Um, I must say that none of this makes sense in my head and uh because the lengths that these people will go uh i don't blame them for the lengths that they'll go to try to figure out how to get their kid back because their nanny leaves spoiler and so this is what season two is about I don't blame them for the lens that they'll do, but on the other hand, uh, I, the thought of it would never come through my mind. Like, I'm gonna give you an example. So they start up a delivery service of pizza and they're actually, like they go as far as having menus, putting it canvas in the neighborhood, delivering pizzas, <laughs> like making money off these pizzas in order to finally catch up with this chick. And I i mean, the thought of doing that would have never occurred to me. I just, I mean, I, maybe I just think small. I mean, the notion, I still don't, 
and this is the coolest thing about the show is that even though I can understand if somebody is like this show is really slow build I don't think so because the question that you ask yourself at the end within every episode is as soon as you think you figured out okay this is what's happening the rules change and so I'm like wow I have no idea what's going on I can't figure it out I cannot figure out for the life of me you know what one like because none of this is adding up how the kid get real why how does the kid change from being real to fake like how does this happen um you know how does he lose his taste how does he bring his taste come back like i cannot figure any of this out and i think that's what makes this show so cool i enjoy every single second of it and um i highly recommend it because it is just a fabulous fabulous show um and i hope that you get into it and get really really your life from it <laughs> like I have um it's a fascinating show I I that's the only thing that I can I can really say it's just super super fascinating and on that note have a great afternoon and I will uh, see you tomorrow